go again. <laughs> this time, Glacier Peaks Wilderness. Uh, we are here at the Trinity Trailhead, and we are about to set out on a uh, three, four, maybe five day loop. I've got enough food to go five days if I need to. Uh, no real plan other than walking this loop that I just read about last night. Looked pretty amazing, looked pretty beautiful. The loop that we're about to do is called the Spider Gap Buck Creek Loop, or Buck Creek Pass Loop. It is about 43 miles long. The altitude change is about 9,000 feet of gain and 9,000 feet of descent. Obviously, that's not all at once, otherwise we'd end up way higher than where we're going. I mean, I'm pretty sure the high point on this trail is just a little over 6,000, so it's just a lot of this stuff. The plan for today is just to go about five miles in on the trail, and there's supposed to be uh, some good camping in a meadow up there. So I'm rocking the hammock today. Hopefully we can find trees. Parking for this particular trip. We went ahead and left the vehicle at the end location. There's about a two and a half mile road walk between the starting trailhead and the ending trailhead. Um, the ending trailhead where I parked is the Trinity trailhead, which seemed only fitting considering my youngest daughter, Trinity. And I am now making the road walk up here to the Phelps Creek trailhead where we will start. A lot of waterfalls over there. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> wow, right off the bat, gorgeous views. All right, I think we are rolling into spider meadows. is beautiful big snowfield up there wow yes so beautiful wow 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 look at all the color in the meadow mr marmot can I share your home tonight? I see you up there. All right. We got some trees. We got a fire pit, although fires are not allowed right now. Um, oh, and we have this absolutely epic view going on out here. Is that a huge waterfall? Amazing. Crawled up on the marmot's rock, taking in his view. I've teared up more than once just sitting here looking at this. So, tomorrow we'll head on out the valley, and then I believe right over here we're going to switch back and kind of work our way up this way and then over that gap right there. Um, it'll be a big climb. Wow! Here's a surprise. I was not expecting that. And there we have it. A pooper with a view. Hmm. Alright, next. Let's, uh, let's see if we can figure out where to get some water. Found the water. How clear that is. Isn't that crazy. Beautiful. Yep. I think we're just gonna fill our jugs up and go back to camp. And then the stereo pen, as clean as this water is.
He's trying to get my food. Stop it. No food for the chippies. No. No food for the chippies. Got my food. Got my tea. Got this amazing view. We got camp set back here under the trees. Give us a little shelter in case it does rain. Because it is very cloudy. But uh, the weather report I heard on the way up said it was supposed to clear off overnight and be sunny and beautiful tomorrow. Can't wait. Got uh, the MSR. Look at this guy. No. Hey, that's not for you. Stop it. That's not for you, mister. No, 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 no. Beat it. All right. Got the MSR bug repeller going down here. Just got it started. So here in a few more minutes, the bugs should be cleared. Now all I need is a uh, chippy repeller because <laughs> he is persistent. He will not leave me or my food bag alone. And I just want to enjoy this view, y'all. <sighs> I feel amazing. My belly is full. I got a nice nine and a half mile hike in today. I am surrounded by giant granite peaks with snow all around them. Tomorrow will be a big day. We got a lot of climbing to do. Uh, we got to go up and over this spider gap, which uh, is supposed to be pretty steep, pretty tough. And then we got to work our way down the other side, and then there's at least two more passes to go through back in there. We're eventually going to make our way to a place called Image Lake, hopefully tomorrow. Um, if not, we'll at least get closer to it, <laughs> and we'll get there the next day. So, uh, yeah, beautiful views. Absolutely amazing place. So glad I'm here. Not a bad view. Not a bad view at all. You can get some little birds coming in, serenading me. <sighs> all right, well, I think that's about going to do it for uh, day number one, Glacier Peaks Wilderness. This place is amazing. I'll be honest, when I started the day hiking, I was just in kind of a funky mood, uh, just, I don't know, just just in a funk, you know, even living the dream life, <laughs> you still, from time to time, you, you deal with things, and uh, you can get in a funk, and so, yeah, when I got here today, I was in a little bit of a funk, but I'm telling you what, as soon as I popped out here at uh, Spider Meadows, holy cow, funk gone, uh, ecstatic I mean emotional tearful happiness you know just good stuff so uh, well like I said this will be the end of day number one we are camped here at spider meadows tomorrow morning we'll get up and we'll go over spider glacier and spider gap down through Lyman lakes up through cloud gap or I guess it's cloud pass cloudy pass I hope it's not cloudy and uh, hopefully make our way out to Image Lake. So, we've got a lot to look forward to tomorrow. We're just getting into the good stuff now. Stick around. We'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's a little chilly. A little blustery. One last look at camp. we stayed at. Hopefully all that mess up there blows out of here pretty soon. You start to see a little bit of sunlight beaming off the tops up there. Little blue skies poking through. We're gonna go up along the edge of this that big rock face right there 
and then we'll swing around this side and cut up in behind it. That's where Spider Gap is. So, up there in the clouds. That is where we are headed today. find the Indian paintbrush popping off. <laughs> uh, look at all the colors. And I'm colorblind, so it's got to be amazing for y'all. I can see these. Wow. Trail got really steep, really rocky. We knew it would. Down here along this edge is where we camped last night. Clouds are thickening, not lifting. Yes, I know, Pika. I hate to climb all the way up here and not see anything. Really tough, but really beautiful climb. Look at those beams of sunlight out there. <laughs> Got our first look at Spider Glacier, Red Mountain, the valley we just came out of, and near as I can tell, our trail is going to go around this way and then up through this valley here to the right, up through Spider Gap. I know uh, we're supposed to, I guess, hike up the Spider Glacier, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't have crampons or an ice axe. This could be interesting. Yeah, it kind of looks like our trail. Just goes right onto the glacier, doesn't it? Look at these waterfalls cascading down all around. There's another real big one up there. It's coming from way up high. But you can kind of sort of see a trail along this thing. Not too terrible. The incline's not real bad. And there's lots of little pockets that I'm able to walk in and kind of see where other people have walked. Very firm, very hard. We are heading up there. We just came from back there. Not too shabby. Phew! Well, there's a waterfall. And if you look up there, you can make out four hikers about to go over the top of the ridge here. That's where we're headed. Slow going. It's a little slippery and the pitch has gotten a little higher. So uh, they're a little steeper. Ooh, really windy. Oh, we cleared the glacier. We've gone over. We're actually in the middle of Spider Pass. So I kind of got off the trail a little bit and made my way up the rock slide as best I could. We popped over the other side. And then we have to come all the way down this big slick field. It's a beautiful basin down there. I can't wait to get down there and see what it looks like. Falls down. Another huge snow field. Beautiful glacial lake. Upper Lyman. And lots of clouds still lingering. Upper Lyman. Beautiful. There's the pass we just came down. Uh, right here. And our trail 
believe we're gonna go out either over here or up here I'm not sure somewhere over there is where we're going out of this valley at. there's another pass over there it's called cloudy pass I believe makes sense about to leave the upper Lyman Basin and making our way down into Lower Lyman Basin. Oh, there's Lower Lyman Lake right there. Let's go check it out. Oh wow, look back there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all probably can't see this, but there are just waterfalls. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least six falls coming down out there. Holy cow. That hurt my heart. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. So beautiful. Let's uh let's wander over this way a little bit more. Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. This is one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever been in my life. Let's see what we got. Working our way down closer and closer to Lyman. It, uh, it's a bigger lake than what it looks. <laughs> That's actually a really big lake. Uh, and I checked the map and our trail is going to head up through that pass over there. So we've got another big climb to go yet. <laughs> and hopefully this time when we get to the top, the clouds will be gone. Hey, I've got the eternal optimism. You got to give me that, right? I mean... <laughs> Just stay positive and <clears throat> yeah, not let it get to me. But honestly, it is frustrating. It's very frustrating. It's a lot of work to get up to the top of these things. Green, 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 not green. I love these little splashes of color. Looking downstream, out to the mountains and the clouds. And looking upstream, mountains, clouds. At lunchtime, just finished my uh, tuna with rice and beans and hot sauce and some uh, cheese crackers. Good stuff, good stuff. Went ahead and stopped here. Uh, we're just getting ready to leave. Lyman Lake is just right over there, uh, Lower Lyman. And we are getting ready to start our ascent up to Cloudy Pass. Hoping Cloudy Pass becomes not cloudy because from the top of that, I'm supposed to have fantastic views of Glacier Peak. Cloudy Pass, and then here's kind of a view looking back. Huge meadow, lots of marmots out there. Big, beautiful mountain. Uh, lower Lyman is right there. Upper Lyman is right there. And the glacier we came down this morning is right there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go see what the view looks like on this side. Because I've not been over here yet. Wow, this meadow here is just blowing up with all these blue flowers. Beautiful. And across the way here, they tell me this is Sitting Bull Mountain. Uh, from up there to pass, we should have had a view of Glacier Peak 
alas, we did not. Look at all these flowers. So, maybe another day. For now, we'll keep working our way down this trail till we get to the PCT. Views are trying to open up. You can see there's a big mountain up there. We're starting to get some views looking out that way. Kind of looking back up to where we came from. And the way we're headed. And then I think we're going to go up into there for Image Lake. <laughs> kind of neat running into all the PCT hikers again. I've not ran into any of the people that I hiked with earlier. Uh, a couple weeks ago, but, or last week, I guess, or the week before. But I've uh, been meeting all kinds of new people. And we are almost to the intersection of our trail where we're going to jump off the PCT. And then I think we got another climb. It's been quite a day. So we got up, we climbed a mountain, then we climbed a glacier, then we slid down a glacier, then we descended into a beautiful valley with a couple of huge glacial lakes in it. Then we climbed another pass. This one was covered with marmots and beautiful flowers. And then now we are, we descended that across a crazy sketchy scree field that, uh, Hiker shortcut to the PCT southbound from Cloudy Pass. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> and uh, now <clears throat> we're going to jump off on this next trail intersection. And I think we've got about three and a half miles up to Image Lake, which everybody keeps telling me is fabulous. I just hope we get up above the ridge, up above the trees and can see some of these peaks. Here's what we're looking for. So we're gonna go jump on this Miner's Ridge, heading out to Image Lake. Ready! Unfortunately, it runs right down the trail. Oh. Yeah, we're getting some views back here now. Clouds are lifting. Ooh. There's a big snowy one up there. Wow. That's pretty nice too, though. Wow. There's a big snowy one. I'll have to get my map out and see. That might be Glacier. That might be Glacier Peak right there. Let me check the map and I'll let you know. Okay, so I am correct in saying that is Glacier Peak over there. Quite amazing. Very astounding. Beautiful. Long ways down over there. Big exposure. <laughs> Beautiful valley though. Wow. I think it's just over that ridge. The views are, oh my God, amazing. I am not making very good time. Because I keep stopping to take pictures. <laughs> this is spectacular. Not just the mountains. Can you see all the flowers going up the hill? All over. Crazy. Marmots are being marmody. <laughs> this is incredible. This alone would have been worth the trip. I haven't even made it to Image Lake yet. <laughs> colors, 
colors, flowers everywhere. Definitely Glacier Peak, without a doubt. That couldn't be anything else. The thing is just so gnarly looking. off this way. I believe we camped on the other side of that stuff somewhere last night. This is just mind-blowing. All the colors, all the wildflowers are blowing up out here. Indian paintbrush and the asters and that lupin and little fuzzy guys. Yeah. Fabulous. What a hike. Well, some days you get the bear and some days the bear gets you. Appears to me as so all the camping down there may be taken up. We're gonna go down there and walk around and see. We may be hiking back out of here, up to Lady Camp. Did not want to do another climb today, but it is what it is. And there it is, Image Lake. It's pretty. We are going to make our way back to Lady Camp, which I guess is technically a horse camp, but dude told me to go there and camp. There's... No camping left down below. Seriously though. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Right? <laughs> I mean, holy crap. I was not happy that uh, I didn't get to camp where I was planning on camping, but I'm not disappointed that I get to walk back through this Amazing Alpen view again. Look, Glacier Peak has emerged. Ain't he a beauty? And all these wildflowers. Oh my gosh. Walking through the Swiss Alps, I mean, uh, the North Cascades, the Glacier Peak Wilderness. <laughs> which is affectionately known as the Alps of America. I bet you can't figure out why. Yeah. Well, here's Lady Camp. Does not look superb for hammocking. I'm gonna see if I can find something on the side of the hill, but uh, I did find out why it's called Lady Camp. So, see this carving in the tree? Apparently, this is from like 1916. A Basque sheep herder was missing his wife and camped up here and carved this into the tree in remembrance of her. Yeah, kind of neat. I'm going to continue walking. I'm going to drop down to the PCT, which is like a couple of miles from here. All right. <clears throat> Ain't much, but it'll do. Uh, we've got a tree here, and a tree over here, or even a tree over here. These will work. I'm done walking. Feet hurt. Ready to uh, get food going. And get the hammock up. Oh, show. Well, we don't have the views that we had last night. But, we got clear skies. No wind. Uh, temperatures are cool. So, yeah. I, uh, I saw all the people camping. I kind of freaked out a little bit. Then I walked over to the edge, I looked down at the lake, took a couple of pictures. 
walked over, got some water, and then I hiked all the way back to Lady Camp, where I found no suitable hammock camping spots. It's great in a tent, but no suitable hammock camping spots. So then I decided to go ahead and truck it all the way back down to the PCT, and I am just maybe not even a tenth of a mile off the PCT here on this Miner's Ridge Trail. So it was definitely a day. I did a very ungoat like maneuver today. I was cruising somewhere. Uh, I think I was heading on down towards Lower Lyman Lake and I was looking around at all the views and I completely missed a little rut that went off the side of the trail and I stepped in it, rolled my ankle like as hard as you can roll an ankle. Like that, that thing went all the way over to the outside, my right ankle. And not only did I roll it hard, but it, it knocked me off balance to where I literally, as it roll, as my ankle rolled to the outside, I crashed forward with my backpack on me. And <clears throat> yeah, I had my camera in my hands because I was taking, I was, was walking between taking pictures and I was looking at the stuff instead of looking at the trail. It was not a good, uh, not a very graceful maneuver, if you know what I mean. Anyways, this evening I noticed the latter half of the day my uh, just some weird sensations in my right foot now, and uh, that somehow in that fall I kind of tweaked my right hamstring a little bit. So I took a couple of ibuprofen with supper, and uh, obviously in my hammock I'm situated in a way that I can elevate my feet. And so hopefully a good night's sleep. This might be profen. We'll be right as rain tomorrow. So today ended up being a 19 mile day. I have no idea how much elevation I gained and lost, but it was a bunch. Um, and so accordingly, <laughs> I am tired. So I'm probably going to read a little bit of this book and then call it a night. Thanks for watching, guys. This is uh, the end of day two, Glacier Peaks Wilderness. Peace. Good morning. It's day three. Kind of feels like day two, but it really is day three because we did spend half a day walking up in here. It's about seven o'clock now. Uh, beautiful sunshine can't really see it but beautiful sunshine up on the mountain to my right I can see that great big buck mountain through the trees glowing over here to the left we're gonna get up get moving get breakfast going get camp broke down and meander our way over to Buck Creek Pass just back to our intersection where we left to go up Miner's Ridge to Image Lake and now, we're ready to head PCT, heading south to Buck Creek Pass. We do have probably two pretty good climbs. Um, looking at probably a neighborhood of close to 3,000 feet of elevation gain today. So not as easy as I had thought, but still, compared to yesterday, shoot, I think we did a 3,000 foot climb right out the gate. <laughs> Here's our first views of the day check that bad boy out glacier peak looking amazing as ever buck mountain uh buck pass i think is going to be over there somewhere and we are dropping down into this valley here pct is going to drop all the way down to the bottom where you see that meadow at over there somewhere and then up that way, we're going to veer off and head up there. So peaceful here this morning. So quiet. The right foot, ankle, and hammy are all back to 100% this morning. The ibuprofen did the trick, as well as I uh, did some stretching last night before I crawled into bed. 
But uh, yeah, no ill effects from my fall yesterday other than the big stains on the fronts of my pants by my knees and the little tear I got when I rolled into those bushes. But yeah, just glad that uh, no permanent damage to the body was done. Yeah, looks like our time on the PCT is finished. This is what we've been looking for, Butt Creek Pass. Uh, tell you what, the climb up to Buck Pass was definitely undersold in the trail description. It said, meander over ridges and valleys, I believe. This has been a climb. I mean, anytime you hear the word gap or pass, you pretty much know you're going to have to climb to get there. This has been an on my toes, steep kind of climb. Pretty much most of the way since I turned off the PCT. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I actually enjoy this. As hard as this is, there's just something about feeling your heart pounding, your lungs working. You know, you just, you know you're alive. And uh, yeah, just feeling that, that rush, that surge through your body of blood flowing and heart pumping and lungs burning and legs burning <clears throat> sounds kind of masochistic I, I admit but ask anybody that trains trains hard or anybody that runs long distances you know that it's hard and you get to a point where your body is just pumping and working so hard and you either come to really like that feeling or you come to really hate it and you don't work out anymore. Uh, me being a long time, long distance runner, love weight training. Um, wow. We're getting up there. I really enjoy putting my body through the works like this. Makes me feel great tired usually sore the next day but man feels great beautiful day great workout for the morning and being able to get some amazing views with my workout can't beat it man can't beat it miners ridge runs along here and lady camp is about right there where that point sticks up in the trees and then the trail itself wraps around this bowl this is where all those wildflowers are and then right over that point it drops around and that is where image lake is beautiful views here oh, there we got rid of the sun flare making our way up to the pass I think we're almost to the pass though. Wow, what a view. That is pretty spectacular back there. Wahoo! Crested the ridge, making our way downhill. Uh, there's a creek somewhere down here in this valley. A small creek. And the trail looks like it's all downhill to there. Uh, maybe a couple of miles. And then it uh, goes right back uphill again up to Buck Creek Pass. Uh, the neat thing about this side of the ridge, we've got some amazing views of what I believe is uh, Glacier Peak. I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, there's just, <laughs> it's all those snowy mountains that we were looking at yesterday. There he is. Yeah, pretty sure that's Glacier Peak over there. For now, we're going to enjoy this leisurely downhill stroll in the shade and cool off. Because I am pretty much dripping with sweat. That was a tough uphill. I'm telling you, not a meander. That's a climb. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just another random waterfall. 
<laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Love the way it just slides down the rock there. Small Creek, which marks the end of our descent and the beginning of our ascent up the Buck Creek Pass. But before we do that, I think we're going to come back over here and take a little break and uh, we'll replenish our water, have a snack, and then we'll tackle the next uphill. All right, we're all refueled, rehydrated, ready to tackle this next climb. Oh, yeah. there we go. Didn't even get wet. Fantastic. Looks like less than a mile to the pass. All uphill, obviously. And, uh, I guess we'll see what things look like when we get up there. I did meet another hiker that was going the other direction. He said there were several people camped up here. I'm hoping that they were just camped overnight. <laughs> and hopefully, they've moved on. Wowzers, that was a climb. Wowzers, this is a view. Very nice. So, we're making our way. We're almost to the pass. I think it's like right here, actually, right around this corner. But, uh, right behind me, I met some guys that were camping right at the top of the ridge that we climbed. I'm just gonna stop here and we're gonna look at this. And uh, they informed me that right around the corner here at the pass, there are oodles and noodles of people camping. A big Boy Scout group apparently. This may be the Boy Scout group that we heard about over at the other place, Image Lake. Although I don't see how in the world they would have got here before me. So, must be multiple Boy Scout groups out here this weekend. But, they did give me some very good information on where to find a fantastic secluded campsite. Hopefully, we'll have some views like this. More big beautiful views. Beautiful drainage. Um, our trail is going to wrap around this ridge right here, around that way, and drop down into the drainage. And I believe we are parked about 10 miles down this valley. <laughs> Not that we're going to get there today. This is gorgeous. Look at all these flowers in the mountain. This is our campsite for the night. It's about 1.30 and we are checked in. Five star accommodations for one, please. We have a beautiful waterfall up here. So there weren't, you know, very many good views from here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I'll have to deal with it. This is uh, quite fabulous all on its own right. <laughs> and to boot, there is nobody else up here in the trail to get to here. Well, if you don't know it's there and you aren't looking for it, you will miss it. I was looking for it and had an idea where it was, and I still almost missed it. In fact, I think I might have missed it and came up on a different trail. But, uh, yeah, this is fabulous. We got plenty of trees for the hammock. A real nice fire pit here. Um, yeah, like I said, the views. I mean, I'll suffer through, I guess camp is right in there here's my surroundings and I didn't even have to walk very far to get water 
Check this out. Look at that. Coming right out of the rock. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> ah, that was refreshing. Got my water filled up. Uh, went ahead and got my socks washed and my feet washed and my legs washed and my head washed and my neck washed and my buff washed and yeah just kind of rinsed all the sweat off uh, really burn some calories and kind of get a uh, get a real lather going cruising up these mountains so it's nice to have the hiking shoes off for a little while uh, let them air out, dry out, let the socks kind of dry out, and uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow won't be too bad. The 10 miles all downhill, um, all the way back to the truck. There's a few little clouds puffing up here and there, but it looks like it's going to be a clear night mostly. And uh, I think this gap right here, right over that big mountain, the... Milky Way should come up right over that around 10 o'clock or so tonight. So if the sky is dark enough, we should be able to get some fantastic night shots tonight. Not a bad fireside view. I mean, I'll, I'll tough it out. <laughs> this is fabulous, guys. This is amazing. Um, I don't know if you can see. I got my tripod set up out here. This is where I will be shooting my night sky shots at tonight. And I am just so stoked. I am so excited. Cannot wait. Uh, so here's camp. We kind of got stuff set out. We're going to get ready to make supper here in a little bit. The sun's getting ready to light up my little seat area. So I'll probably wait until it moves off. But in the meantime, we've got our bear line, which is not really for bears. Um, Washington. More or less, you're really hanging your food for mice. <laughs> As we can see, we got the uh, hammock set up over here, all ready to go. Got our clothes drying over here on the clothesline. Like I said, once the uh, sun moves off of my, my beautiful sitting spot there, then we are going to go ahead and get supper going. Food is steeping, won't be long now. I uh, kind of got caught up in shooting this, this beautiful scene out here again. You can see how it would happen, right? And you just come out here and you're like, holy cow, look, here it goes again. And it just, as the light changes, the view just keeps changing. You got the sunlight streaming in through that valley over there now. That is just sublime. About time to check this food. What do you think? Come on. Yeah. There. Ramen is uh, one that doesn't really take very long. Different. If you make many of these, you'll start to kind of learn different pastas require different lengths of time to soften up the mashed potatoes are always ready instantly the spam just gets warm sitting in there but uh, yeah ramen bomb tonight spiced up with a little uh, red pepper from uh, Domino's crushed red pepper yeah so that's what we're having and then my favorite homemade trail mix for dessert Five star restaurant, baby. Look at that view. Well, I'm gonna dig into this. Oh, full belly. Amazing views. I'll tell you, I was, I was really gonna go lay down and read for a while and go to sleep early. But the longer I sat here and as I was eating, and I was just looking around and walking around and observing, I just kind of realized, you know, this is one of those moments. This is one of those gifts. And if you know what I'm talking about, you you get you feel me. 
you don't get these very often. And when you get it, you really, you need to be in the moment and you need to appreciate it. And yeah, I am here. I am so grateful. And uh, I feel like to not just sit here and observe this all the way through sunset, I feel like I would be wasting some of this gift and I don't want to do that. This is too incredible. There's always time to read a book. You don't get something like this every day. This is Fortress Mountain, which is part of a big ridge. And on the other side of this ridge is Lyman Lakes, which if anybody recalls, we cruised through uh, yesterday. Just gonna keep hanging out here, watching the sunset. And uh, then when it gets dark, we'll come back and we'll take some pictures. Awesome. All right, guys, final look, sunset. We're in Glacier Peaks Wilderness. Call this the end of day number three. And uh, we will see you guys in the morning. Good night. Okay, it's about midnight. I'm not sure if any of this is actually going to come through or not. I'm going to try. These stars are so amazing. I at least have to try. Good morning. Day number four. Up bright and early this morning. Even though I was up watching uh, the Milky Way last night, getting those great shots, I wanted to see the sunrise this morning. There it is. Old Buck Mountain. Blowing there in the sunlight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, sunrise show. Actually popped off just the way I hoped it would. Um, at this point, we're just kind of breaking down camp, cleaning things up a little bit. I am still working on my coffee and my breakfast. And uh, yeah, won't be too much longer here, probably within the next half hour, 45 minutes. The rest of this stuff broke down and then get the heck out of here. Glacier Peaks Wilderness. It's a hard spot to leave, man. I mean, I... Honestly, I could stay here another day, I think. We're all broke down, ready to load up, hit the trail, just finished refilling our water. Thought we'd come out here for one final look at our own little piece of heaven. It's been an amazing campsite. It's been an amazing afternoon, evening, and morning. Uh, not a single person has come up here since I've been here. I've not even heard a voice. <laughs> other than my own so we're gonna get the pack on and then we're gonna hit the trail start this uh, 10 mile cruise back to the truck let's get rolling y'all continuing to lose elevation this may be our last look back at the basin here we've been working around uh, the trail up to Buck Pass goes right through here and that is Buck Pass right there Buck Creek Pass where we came over yesterday this is the big basin we were looking at big mountain to our right that may be the last look we have at it because now we drop off into the deep dark jungle the rainforests of Washington no. <laughs> this is beautiful too just a different kind of beautiful just a constant roar of water on this walk <clears throat> Over on the other side, there are countless waterfalls coming down that are just roaring. 
the valley just constantly. And then you get some on this side too. Woo. 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 Roaring down to the valley floor from this side. This is an extremely peaceful walk this morning. A couple of birds here and there, otherwise just the roar of the water. Forests definitely do not look as healthy in this drainage as what they have on most of the rest of the trip. Uh, a lot of burn, just standing dead timber, even on the other side of the valley there. This whole drainage. Getting some pretty views of the mountains from the other side that we were looking at. So this one here is at Buck Mountain. Uh, that one I don't think really had a name. And Liberty Caps on the other side over there. Bright sunshiny day down here in the uh, burned forest. But lots to look at. You can kind of get some of those high alpine views up there. You can see tons of uh, fireweed blooming all around. Really nice. Back to the truck. Uh, safe and sound. It's been a fantastic trip, y'all. Thanks for uh, watching. If you enjoyed it, if you got anything out of it, if you learned anything, saw any pretty pictures, hit that like button. If you like these kinds of videos, you know what to do. Hit that little subscribe thing. And uh, as I put these out, you'll get notified. All right, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for traveling with me. We will catch you next time.